In the questions that you see represented here, there is a common thread that all of these questions have in common. You'll notice that in all of these questions, there is no data set. We're given the linear correlation coefficient. We're given the equation of the regression line. We're also told the mean of the x and y values. And then we're asked for the best predicted value for a given x value. And the question becomes, is it better to use the regression line, or is there some better way for a particular problem to find the predicted value? Because we don't have the data set, that means that we'll not be able to find the p-value, and we can't make a determination whether or not there is or is not a linear correlation between the two variables using p-value. But for all of these problems, we are given the correlation coefficient, we're given the number of data points, and the sample size, and using the information, which includes the correlation coefficient, the alpha. In each one of these cases, we'll be able to make the decision as to whether or not there is a linear correlation or is not a linear correlation based on the value of the correlation coefficient as compared to the Pearson critical value given by the table for the critical values of the Pearson correlation coefficient r. If there is a correlation, then the best predicted value will be the value arrived that by using the equation of the regression line. However, if there is not a linear correlation, as determined by comparing the correlation coefficient against the critical value, then the best predicted y value, or dependent variable, will be the average, or mean, given in the problem for the y value. Again, the rule for determining if there is a correlation, given the correlation coefficient, the sample size, and the level of significance, is to compare the R value, that is the correlation coefficient, which for example in this case is 0 0.269, against the critical value of the Pearson correlation coefficient as gotten from the table. And in this case, because our sample size is 70 and we're using an alpha of 5%, that critical value will be 0 0.236. And using this method, the rule is that if the absolute value of the correlation coefficient is greater than the critical value as gotten from the table, then the decision is that there is indeed a correlation. Therefore, we would use the regression line to determine the best predicted value. If, however, the absolute value of the correlation coefficient were less than the critical value, then there would not be a correlation, and the best predicted value would simply be the average of the y values.